Great morning. I hope that y'all woke up grateful for your day. I hope that you've reminded yourself of all of the reasons you have to be grateful. And I hope that you're setting a high vibe. And I hope that when you see a limit, you're getting creative. And I hope that when you're seeing an obstacle, hey, you're using it as an opportunity to grow. What I mean by that, learn about yourself. Okay. I hope that you're not reacting to your life or any person, situation, or circumstance. I hope that you're responding accordingly. Okay, taking that time to pause. I'm not going to be out here long this morning, but I wanted to give you a couple of loving reminders. All right. Listen, where there are roses, there are thorns. All right. Understand that. So I've been asked a couple of questions. Toby, how do you do it? This is how I do it. I fill my heart with so much gratitude that there's no room for anything else. Okay. And that's how it has to be every day. And every day that I wake up and I'm given a new day, I'm a new person. Okay. And so are each and every one of you. So. Basically, this morning, as you wake up and you start your day, you are a brand new person. Seriously. All you're supposed to take from your past is the learning of it all. Seriously, okay? So, take that time. Because if you're not learning about yourself and you're too busy up in everybody else's business, well, you're at a real loss in your life. Seriously. Okay. I was asked, how do you do it? Okay, well, you know what? Today being a new day, I don't carry anything forward. Anything that was inflicted on me or anything that I lived yesterday stays there. Simple as that. By the end of my day, I like to rectify everything. I don't like to leave anything ha hanging in the wind. No. I like to correct whatever didn't make me feel right that day. I'm not going to bottle in my feelings for anybody or anything. And yeah, hey, I'm intense. All right. So, you guys, own and love yourself unconditionally to the point where if something is not making you feel right, you correct it. Simple. And that's on you, okay? So, there's a lot of things that everybody has to deal with, okay? Nobody's exempt from that. Nobody is exempt from life if you are given your experience today, okay? We all have things we have to deal with. But how are you dealing with these things? That's the question. Are you responding? Hey, Gee, what's up? Oh, good morning to you. Hey, I hope you're, I, I know you're always setting a high vibe. Hey, Trish, morning. Yeah, I love you guy. Yes, yes, yes. You see that crap? Look at that. I got my face fully back. I'm feeling revived. Honestly. So I hope you guys are too. Yeah, top of the morning. Hey, I'm just out here for some reminders this morning. Wendell, I don't think is going to join. Um, I think yesterday he mentioned something about the mornings. I sent him an invite. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I got my face back and my immune system back. So now I just got to work on the endurance for my heart because I had a heart attack and they still won't let me lift what I could know, what I know I could lift. But hey, you know. I'll be back fully, fully functioning very soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was asked, so I was talking about it because I was asked, somebody asked me, Toby, how did you do it? How did you heal yourself? How did you, you know, and oh, is this possible crap, you know? And now I'm, I can talk real because it's you guys out here. So you are, we already know how we do. So I'm going to talk to you guys. All right. Listen, straight up, people coming at me like, oh, yeah, the impossible, blah, blah, blah. I'm living proof of it, right? But 
these are the same people that are all twisted in their head and can't account for their life and are all still fucked up on all kinds of shit and you know what i mean telling me yeah right toby you're clean to christ do i look like i'm junked out now uh, come on you know so these are the same kind of people that are anyway so i wanted to let them all know that uh <laughs> it is very possible love you gee have a great day Thanks for popping in. You're awesome. One day I will join your live. Yes, yes, yes. One day I will join your live. Yes, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That sounds like a great plan. Hey, yeah. Maybe Guy should do that, man versus woman with us, Trish. Hey, maybe we should get Guy as the other guy. I think that would work. I think that would work. Anyway, you know how we do. Trish, uh, <laughs> listen, we've been pillars for many people. We've held a lot of people up. Okay? Because that's what we do. No matter what situation is going on, that's what we do. Okay? We get past things. And people can't get it. Why? Because they're stuck in their own belief systems and their excuses and their bullshit about what they want to create for themselves with all the wrong intentions, you know? So, yeah, healing is very possible. So I'll get back to how I did it. I shed all of the stuff that was making me sick. What was making me sick? The composition of my life, the trauma, the hurt, the shame, the blame, the guilt, the denial, the uh, the self-hatred, the all of that shit is what made me sick to begin with. I know that. But who wouldn't have had to go through that with the life that I've had to live? But I had to shed that, you know? But I had to learn how to do that. And I had to learn that, no, everything that I believed myself to be is not true. And that I was programmed like that to believe that. And that, uh, no, I, I can overcome. And, you know, but there's nobody that was sitting there in my ears spoon feeding me that either. I had to own that stuff for myself. Okay? Simple. Right? Oh, we would kill him. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Seriously. But I had to own all that stuff and stand up for myself. I had to show up for myself to get over this stuff. And I wasn't going to delegate my life to anybody else. And that's how I did it. So, you know what it's like? I'll talk to you, Trish. Listen, you know what it's like? You own your life. You own who you are. You own your power. You own your greatness. All right. And we all have a couple of health problems that arise to put us into check about how we're living. As we're going through that, well, I had mine. So now I have to work on my heart. And I have to work on strengthening the muscles again. Because sitting on my ass since February, I've, you know what I mean? Come on, I put on quite a few pounds, but now I'm shedding them. My body is dropping them. Last doctor's appointment, when I got all this great news, I weighed in again five pounds lighter and that's listen that's my own body doing its work so slowly but surely i'll be back but all of that stuff hey it affected my life it affected my work life my social life my love life my family life it affected every aspect of my life but hey crumble or stand tall i understand that i'm a pillar and that's why pillar type people, they're not always together. Simple. Because look at the pillars of a great building. They're spaced apart. So that's how I see it. But also those pillars don't need anything else but the other pillars to stand and hold that shit, right? So anyway. Uh, maybe some won't understand that, but I know that some will. Anyway, with each new day, 
we're a new person we bring back we bring forth learning or we can sit there and find all the problems and excuses in our life so today actually tomorrow morning when you get up i want to, i want you to check what automatic programs are already conditioned and set within your own being trishna that's not to you everybody else listening when you get up in the morning and you open your eyes it is factual that we feel absolutely nothing okay so when you wake up do you look for the pain that you assume to be in your body do you look for the problems do you get up and go oh fuck, i'm gonna have a rough day we're creators anything that we think we manifest it's first created in thought and then it's created in matter and you may not think that but it, that's how it is so when you have an idea and then a thought and then you verbalize it and then hey that's still manifesting it okay so with each new day and you're a new person you're manifesting how you're going to feel and how your day is going to be seriously you set that in the motion of it in the first 20 minutes of your day so it's really important that people understand that so when you wake up in the morning this is why i stress to everybody right away the minute you open your eyes i am grateful for my day even if you don't believe it say it as you're getting up remind yourself of all the things that you have to be grateful for in your life then take that pause for you to really take a look at who you would like to be in your day because that's your choice so this is why i encourage everybody to be loving in everything that they say and do to themselves primarily because when you set a high vibe like that from gratitude your life changes why because you change it's simple so yes listen i wake up and i tell myself i'm grateful every day but that doesn't exempt me from my life the people the circumstances or situations i have to live okay but what that does for me is it gives me an easier way to get through my day all right i fall short of grace i'm not perfect i can sit here proudly and say that yes because i'm an empath i see through people's bullshit. so what does that do for me it makes my life a little harder okay why does it do that because it's very hard to be loving unconditionally to myself and people when I see through the bullshit. Okay? But that's my truest nature. Simple. I'm fueled by an infinite, unconditional love that loves me no matter what. This experience here is not all bliss unless we make it like that we have a creative power so if you're thinking that shitty thoughts about yourself well you're producing a shitty feeling and if you're not owning your greatness in your life well then hey who is who are you giving your power to oh well uh i can't do what i want to do in my life because of this or because of that it's a crock of shit. Seriously. You got to own your greatness. You've got a creative power. You can make anything happen, no matter what it is. You just need clarity. So, this is why I encourage everybody to take a look within themselves because nobody has those answers. That clarity that everybody needs to hold within themselves, 
What do you want for yourself? Forget your life being the way it is because of. No. I want you to switch that around. I want you to start manifesting your days the way that you want them to be. That's the point of all of this. Don't live by, okay, well, this is what's happening, so that's what's governing my life and my emotions. And nah, nah, I don't know. Today's a fresh day. You're a brand new person. Own that stuff. Don't give it to any person. Don't give it to any place, situation, circumstance, nothing. Don't let anything drain you or drag you down into a low vibe. Ever. We're creators. How I see something is going to be different than you see something. Simple. Because I'm given a gift of being an empath, well, listen, that makes factually that I have to literally overcome many feelings within me where I see tr my truth and I see truth where the other person can't even own their truth. So what do I mean by that? I could sit and have a conversation. Big head. Stop, please. I could sit and have a conversation with somebody. Now, everything that they're telling me is what they believe to be true. But the energy of their being tells me a whole different story. So there are very few people that I know in my life that their energy matches their words. Okay? And this is where I have a lot of problems. Because people will show you who they want you to see them to be. But I see past that. And also, I can also feel why it is they're wearing that mask. And what is it that's hurting them that, that they're trying to hide? And not only from the world, but from them, themselves also. See, that's another story too. People get so caught up on putting on the masks and, oh, okay, well, I want my family to see me like this. And I want my boss to see me like this. And I want my friends to see me like this. And I want my lover to see me like this. Get it right. You know what? Me and Poby throw it all. He can't handle it. That's not my problem. Unfortunately, I was given this level of energy to make a difference in this world and I have. So I don't tone that down. That's one of my greatest assets. Seriously. But just because I am who I am, it doesn't exempt me from the bullshit of this society and what it's created to be either, eh? Because I see it for what it is. And I feel things a little deeper and I see things on a bigger picture. Where I don't, I don't see things nor the way somebody else does. Nobody does. You guys have a unique signature. You see things a unique way. And we're all needed. So, everybody has healing to do. Put it this way. You want to change your life? Heal your past. That's what I had to do. I'll get back to the point of all of this. What did I have to do? I had to heal my past. I had to go back and forgive myself and forgive every single person that ever did me wrong. And there has been many. Why? Because I am such a good-natured person. So the list is long. But that's not for me to carry. I had to forgive that stuff. Because it was all of that stuff that was making me sick to begin with. Seriously. Our body manifests the wear and tear that we put on our being. Now... I never knew what it was to hold a high vibe. I would never knew what it was to feel good about myself. But now I do. And that's another thing, too. You know, everybody sees me voice posting stuff about my relationship or whatever. And that, I'll be very honest, that's just to tap some fingers of some guys that are coming my way. But listen, that's still a work in progress, too. 
I don't have anything mastered but myself, but that's the key. Okay? I trust myself. I trust my soul. I trust what the energies are telling me because it's greater than any person, place, situation, or circumstance. Seriously. So, but tomorrow when everybody wakes up, hey, look, take a look at what you create for yourself before you even have coffee or before you have your, what do you, like, your morning routine. Analyze your morning routine before you start your day. See what you're telling yourself. See what you're seeking. Are you getting up creating yourself a great day? Or are you getting up looking for the problems in your life as a repetitive automatic system? Okay? Because we all have certain things that have become automatic systems for us. Simple. So check your automatic systems. This way you can really analyze what vibe are you setting initially for your day. That's all. Because it changes everything. Okay? Because you know something, for a very long time, I woke up and I said, ah, fuck this, what the fuck? And I would say, seriously? Hey, is this another sick, twisted joke? Like, haven't I learned enough? Haven't I done enough on this planet? As I suffered what I was suffering. That was the worst mindset to have. I was my worst enemy. Seriously. Down on myself because of all the stuff happening and that had happened in my life. Nah, I had to switch that. I had to rewrite that in my own head. And that's how I've been able to come back, is rewriting that script. We're not our past. We are not who we are made to believe. Think about it honestly. You're born. You're incarnated. You're given your name. You're given your family. You're given the rules to live by. You're given the belief systems to live by. You're given all of what another person believes your life should be comprised of. That's how it is. So, when you can wake up to that and say, whoa, whoa, this is my life experience? And I'm going to figure myself out. And I'm going to start listening to what my heart is telling me and not what everybody else has installed into me. Whoa, it changes everything. And that's what I had to do. So that's how I encourage everybody else to do it too, okay? And no, it's not easy. It's not easy to sit there and look at all the shit of your life that you've had to live. But you've got to do it to heal it. It's simple. And you got to stop making excuses for being a certain way because of something that was inflicted on you or something that was handed to you to deal with. Seriously. I had to. Okay. For a long time, I was stuck in that mindset. Come on, I'm pushing 50 and I'm only starting to get it right now. That's why I'm out here encouraging all, everybody to get it right. Put yourselves first. Love yourselves unconditionally. I tell people you're not your past. They don't understand what that means. What that means is that that is a composition of somebody else's what they wanted your life to be. Now it's time for you to own your life experience. That's what I'm talking about. Own it. It's yours. You're the creator. Unshackle yourself from everything that everybody else made you to believe you are. Because you're not that. No. And you have a unique purpose. And you have a unique mission. And you have a reason why you're here. You didn't just hop onto earth. Facts. So, honestly, you have to shut that damn programming off in your brain of who you think you are. Seriously. And you need to own your power. And you need to believe that you are a lot greater than any name you were given, family you were given, circumstance you were given, or anything else you've had to live. 
Step up out of that. Rise above it. Wise your, look, one of my books is Wise Up to Rise Up, eh? And that's what I talk about. Unshackling yourself from this stuff. I've written seven books to wake people up to their own great power. Okay? How could I be awakened to mine and not want to awaken everybody else to theirs? I had to get real with who I was. And that's what I've done. And that's how I was able to heal. I was given three months, eh? Three months to live before that stuff ate through my brain. And I'm sitting here proudly today saying, ah, that was up until then. I'm healed. When you own your creative power and you're thinking the right thoughts, you can make anything happen for yourself. Okay, and we all need wake-up calls, all of us. So, in order for me to really harness my truest power, I had to go through what I just did. But now I've harnessed it. Okay? So, I encourage you all to do the same. Okay? Your power is unique to you. Your gifts are unique to you. Okay? Now, if you think about what's fueling your life experience, that is infinite, unconditional love. Okay? Because that's the creation of all of this. That's what fuels every single thing. And how do things happen? Well, it is through heart's desires that things happen. Right? Your heart, hey, it runs on an electrical current that makes it pump. Without that electricity, TikTok is done. Okay, so understand where that energy is coming from. Get real with what's giving you life. Get real with what you can do with that. Get real with unshackling yourself from all of the shit that you think yourself to be. And let me tell you, I thought some real shitty thoughts about myself for a very long time, and it manifested sickness within me over and over and over again. Why? Because the shame of my life, what I had to live, me blaming my parents, me blaming my family, me blaming everything, okay? Me feeling guilty for not being the best mother that I could have been or, uh, you know, there's all kinds of shit that I fed myself for many years. And that's what got me sick initially. But I had to learn that to be able to unleash and unshackle myself from that, right? So how do I do it? Take a look at myself. What is it that's making me sick? I'm not going to stay distracted from that. And I'm definitely not a diagnosis. And I'm definitely not going to put my life into the hands of another. Okay? So I encourage you all today to get it right. Okay? Own your greatness. Own your power. Simple. And yeah, this morning's a little rough. Because I went out and there's some real, the audacity of some people. That's all I can say. But that's okay. Because again, even with that, even though, you know, I it, it frustrates me to see some things. I see past it and I understand why it's happening. You know, and with understanding, it takes out the emotional charge. Seriously. You see, and without understanding, that's what friggin' drives us and drives us and we turn ourselves in circles. And that's what happens to me, I'll be very honest. If I don't understand something, because to me, everything has to be logic. There's got to be a logical explanation for everything. Okay? Once you take the emotion out, there's always logic. So... I'm one that seeks logic all the time. And if I don't understand something, I seek learning. 
because there is no situation good or bad in life everything is for learning okay you need to learn about yourself to be able to own your creative power everything is learning and when you can learn how to harness that greatness of your being and you understand what you can manifest from that <laughs> your life literally changes so guys i'm going to encourage you all again a couple of reminders me i'm hopping off a couple of things i need to get done today guys wake up be grateful seriously you may not think it's going to make a difference, but it does. It really does. Be grateful. Remind yourself of the things you got to be grateful for. If you got to write them down, do it. If you got to post something beside your bed, do it. Make them different every morning. Don't just say the same things over and over again. Make them different. Okay? We all have limits in our life. Now we can see them as limits or we can get creative and get past them. And this is why I encourage everybody, get creative. Don't see a limit as, oh, I'm limited. No, take that limit and get creative because that's what it's there for. It's limits are supposed to fuel us to tap into our creative power. Why do things not always work out the way we want? Because there's a bigger picture at play. Okay? When you see an obstacle in your life, learn about yourself. Take it as an opportunity to look inside. Okay? Because maybe you alone have put that obstacle in your way and you're not even seeing that. So this is why I encourage you. Every time you see an obstacle, use it as an opportunity. Simple. Right? When you got setbacks in your life, they are for a reason. Seriously. Okay? So, redirect. Assess. You're in control of that. Seriously. Guys, don't respond. Don't react to stuff. Take the time. Practice the pause. Respond accordingly. Okay? You're a lot greater than you think you are. Every single one of you. And you all have a unique signature on this planet. And you are all necessary for your part in the bigger picture. Seriously, okay? Own that greatness today. Okay. Analyze yourself so you can see what changes you need to make. Every time you're about to think something or do something, ask yourself, is this part of my heart's will or is this part of the programming that I've been conditioned with? That's how you can make better choices for your life. Anyway. Like, I want to remind you all, just because uh, I'm healed and I'm, you know what I mean? Look, I'm not exempt from bullshit, okay? Just like everybody else. Get past that stuff. Put yourself first in all of it. You know, as I was cutting my hair last night, I kept saying to myself, why, you know, why isn't removing toxic people in our life as easy as cutting our hair? Seriously cut our toenails, we cut our hair, like, hey, why can't taking out the trash in our life be that simple? And hey, the response was, well, then the learning wouldn't be there. So, that's right. Everything is for learning. Anyway, set a high vibe, get the most out of your day. Why? Because you matter the most in all of it. And, uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. So, I love you all. I'm sure tomorrow morning's live will be a lot uh, more pleasant, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So, 
I love you all. Seriously. And the severity of the love that I feel for myself and for life and for every single person on this planet is as severe as I have to be. Okay. But I love you all. And I want you all to set a high vibe. Why? Because you matter. And you are the creator of your experience on that. Okay? Love you all. Have a great day. Peace.